This is roughly how the inner region of our upper body looks. We can see many parts here which form the human digestive system. And in the process of understanding it, we will hear many complicated words like enzymes, esophagus, peristaltic movement, duodenum, ileum and so on. The only way we can understand the digestive system or any system for that matter is by looking beyond these words. The first time we try to understand the system, we should not look at these words. Digestion is just one plain simple concept. Food is taken in, it is broken down so that our body can absorb it and the stuff that our body cannot absorb is thrown out by our body. That's pretty much what we need to know to understand what digestion is. We all know how food is taken in and how it is thrown out. What's important and interesting though is how it breaks down within our body. Imagine a factory which has 500 workers and the owner orders a giant burger for his entire workforce and the size of the burger is big enough to feed all of them. But all that the workers can do is stand and stare at this massive food resource they can see. You guessed it right, they will only be able to consume regular sized burgers and not this entire thing. These workers are just like the cells in our body. They need food which is broken down into tiny little things which they can utilize for their growth and repair. Let's look at the inner region of our upper body again. The process of breaking down of food starts right in our mouth and ends at the rectum. Look at the figure. It has many parts which perform various functions of breaking down the food we consume. We will break down the topic of digestion into two parts. First, we will look at the entire process of digestion in the simplest possible way and understand why we need it. And second, we will look at each part in detail.